a very warm welcome to everyone today we are here with another video and today we will be learning about isolating mechanisms T. Dobzhansky in the book Genetics and the Origin of Species in 1937 first introduced the term isolating mechanism and later this term was popularized by E. Mayer and which was further replaced by Patterson changing the term isolating mechanism to specific mate recognition system but it has not gained universal acceptance okay these mechanisms prevent species of sexual reproducing organisms from fusing hence the organisms are defined by reproductive isolation which leads to lack of gene mixture and mating between these two natural units okay I repeat these mechanisms prevent species of sexual reproducing organisms from fusing hence the organisms are defined by reproductive isolation which leads to the lack of gene mixture and mating between these two natural units there are two kinds of isolating mechanisms first pre-mating second post mating under pre-mating we have got four subdivided groups namely temporal ecological behavioral and mechanical and under post mating we have got five subdivided groups namely gametic incompatibility zygotic mortality hybrid inviability hybrid sterility and hybrid breakdown now let's move on to pre-mating these are the factors which cause species to mate on their own kind I repeat these are the factors which cause species to mate their own kind which is also called assortive mating and as we have already discussed that uh, under pre-mating there are four subdivided groups so firstly temporal isolation what happens the individuals of different species get activated at different time times of the day or in different seasons hence individuals of different species do not mate and perform assortive mating what actually happens as the species get activated at different times of the day or at different seasons they do not mate or perform assortive mating okay now moving on to ecological isolation what happens here is individuals mate in their preferred habitat in their own habitat hence they do not meet individuals of other species with different ecological preferences okay moving on to behavioral isolation the potential mates of a species choose members of their own for mating I mean it depends on their behavior of who are I mean whom they are gonna choose so potential mates of a species choose members of their own for mating lastly mechanical isolation copulation is attempted but the transfer of sperm does not take place for example a cross between a drosophila and a glossina fly the copulation is attempted but the transfer of sperm does not take place now moving on to post mating by few mechanisms hybrid formation is prevented which are as follows firstly gametic incompatibility due to copulation okay the sperm transfer takes place but the egg is not fertilized in the process okay under gametic incompatibility the copulation takes place as well as the sperm transfer takes place but the egg is not fertilized in the process clear next up is zygotic mortality what happens here is the egg is fertilized 
but the zygote does not develop in few cases of interspecific crosses in nature. Well, the egg gets fertilized, but when it's time for the, the formation of the zygote, it does not develop. Clear? Number C, hybrid inviability. What happens? The hybrid embryo forms, but its chances of viability is nil. Okay? Number D, hybrid sterility. Hybrid is viable, but resulting adults is sterile. Okay? The hybrid is viable, but the resulting adult is sterile. Okay? For example, let species AA gets crossed with species 2 BB. Okay, what happens? Parents AA and BB, and from there we get the gametes A from parent A and B from parent BB. F1 takes place, and we get a b hybrid but that hybrid is sterile okay and last hybrid breakdown okay first generation that is f1 hybrids are viable fertile but further f2 and back cross may be inviable or sterile what happens actually under hybrid breakdown is that the first generation of f1 hybrids are viable but moving on to the next generation that is the f2 and also in some cases the back cross they might be inviable or sterile another school of thought follows the following classification of isolating mechanism and it is as follows so it is the breakdown classification of isolating mechanism which is divided into, into two groups firstly Prezygotic and postzygotic. Under prezygotic, there are five subdivided groups. Earlier there were four, now it's five. Firstly, temporal, which remains the same. Secondly, ecological. Third, behavioral. Fourth, mechanical. And lastly, gametic incompatibility. And from postzygotic, we get four subdivided groups groups zygotic mortality hybrid inviability hybrid sterility and hybrid breakdown in higher studies on speciation the term isolating mechanism is avoided i repeat in higher studies on speciation the term isolating mechanism is avoided because of a few unwanted connotations instead they clearly distinguish between mate choice hybrid incompatibility and other form of reproductive isolation today this term is confined mostly to undergraduate textbook okay thank you